I'm too excited to eat. I just want to hear some more stories. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can't you stay for one more? No, I, I really have to leave. Well, doesn't anyone else have some stories? Well, I have this one from when I got lost out there past the wall. Yeah, it, it was kind of exciting. I'd really like to hear it, but I'm telling you, I've got to get home and eat. Well, can't you all eat together? Well, what could we make that we could all eat? Well, lots of things. Ooh, have you ever tried stone soup? Stone soup? What's that? Well, there once were these two weary travelers. <laughs> There once were two weary travelers who had traveled through the Swedish hillside for a long, long time. And by the time they reached to the middle of the village, they were cold and hungry. And between the two of them, they did not even have a penny for a scrap of bread. They thought how wonderful it would be to have a hot, hearty meal, but they waited in hungry anticipation as the villagers of the town bustled around them on their way home from the market, laden with meats, vegetables, and the finest fresh fruits. Look, look at that! Look, 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 look. Now the villagers ignored them as they ignored each other, for they were a village, but they were not a community. Now, the two hungry travelers were about to give up hope, when suddenly, a little more in the air, they smelled fresh roasting goose coming from the inn. They went to the back door in the hopes to get some scraps from the kindly shepherd. They take not this stinking garbage! No. Hey, excuse me! Couldn't help but smell the delicious aroma coming from your kitchen. You must be quite the chef. Could you spare just a morsel or two? Or maybe some leftovers? Oh, you do want something to eat. What kind of place would they not run in here? If I were to give food to every hungry traveler who came to the inn, I would have no inn. You do. Get out of here. <laughs> Sad and dejected, they were both about to leave when something one of them saw in the corner of their eye an old kettle. Hey, what's this? Why are they throwing this old kettle out? It's got a dent in the side. Yeah, it looks good to me. Yeah, you got something to put in it. Well, let's build a fire, make some soup. Yeah, what kind of soup? Empty kettle soup? Look, don't snack at me. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just that I'm so hungry. I'm, I'm so hungry, I can eat this rock. When suddenly they got an idea. Stone soup! <laughs> so they carried the kettle and the stone to the middle of the village square, cleaned out the kettle, filled it with fresh water, built a roaring fire underneath, and then added the last ingredient, the stone. They sat to wait, but they didn't have to wait long, for along came the very strong village blast. Hey, uh, what you got in the pot? Stone soup? Stone soup? I never heard of stone soup. Have a taste. Now, not wanting to appear foolish for not knowing what stone soup was, she tasted it and came up with her own suggestion. Well, it's good, but, uh, all right, I got a lot of carrots and onions at home. You think you want them in your soup? Sure, it is. Great, I'll go get them. So off she went in a flash and she came back shortly <laughs> with the carrots and onions. She put them into the kettle, one at a time, <coughs> and they sat down to wait. And as they waited, along came the grouchy old butcher. Uh, what is going on here? What is this? We're making stone soup. Stone soup? What's in it? Carrots and onions. And the secret ingredient. Well, that sounds very ridiculous. Oh, you wouldn't think so if you tried it. Here. Give me that spoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay, but it's missing something. Yeah, well, what do you think that is? I mean, you look like someone with a discerning palate. I need beef. And I've got plenty of beef in my beef shop, and I'm going to go get it and put it in your pot, whether you like it or not. <laughs> okay, you win. <laughs> and before you could say, where's the beef? She was back in flash, <laughs> putting the beef in the pot. One after the other, they sat down to wait when along came the well-to-do doctor and his scars to a while. Darling, what does that smell? 
I don't know, Pumpkin, but it seems to be coming from over there. Not the most bad of ruffians. What are you making over there? Stone soup with carrots and onions, beef, and a secret ingredient. Is he speaking to us? Can he say something about soup? Well, this is only the greatest soup in the world. Well, that can't be possible. I have never tried any. Absolutely. My wife makes the best soup with the finest Swedish meatballs. With cranberry sauce. Well, nothing that you could do to this soup would improve it. <gasps> is that a challenge? Yeah. <laughs> Come along, pumpkin. Zip it, Reginald. <laughs>
boys dance in soup, a long came a man. <laughs> Thank you.